taking a closer look at Delaware's campaign laws. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Delaware State Representative Paul Baumbach. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Jill. There was a, a recent report that came out from an independent investigator related to campaign laws in Delaware. Talk to us a little bit about the purpose of the investigation overall. Well, the investigation came about when uh, a federal investigation went, uh, looked at various campaign issues in Delaware and said, we've got some local issues. So the uh, state attorney general's office said, this is so close to home, we need to have an independent uh, person look into it. And, and Judge VC, a retired uh, justice uh, in Delaware, very well respected, looked into it, spent hundreds and thousands of research hours uh, dug into both what has happened and also uh, suggestions for how we can move forward, how we can improve things here in Delaware. And let's talk about some of the findings of this report. Essentially, there are nine categories of change that they're calling for, or they've recommended. One is related to PAC transparency. Now, let's talk a little bit about how this would work, because many people are familiar with Citizens United, uh, protecting contributions from entities, corporations, businesses. Talk to us a little bit about, though, what that means here at a more local level. Sure. Uh, well, there, there's two uh, related issues there. One is for PACs, for political action committees. Right now, the, the contributions are largely hidden, and what, we, what the report is suggesting is that the donors be identified. So if you're making a donation to a political action committee that will be impacting Delaware candidates and elections, then the public has the right to see who's making those donations, how large those donations are. Um, so that just shines the light in there. And the second one is limited liability companies currently can make contributions directly to campaigns. And that's happened in the past, and the research, uh, the investigations found some problems with that. Um, but part of the problem is when you say the ABC LLC made a contribution, who's behind that? So um, what Judge VC recommended is that you completely eliminate the LLC, the entity contributions to individual can uh, candidate campaigns. And that often people say, well, what about Citizens United? Um, but that's a federal law. It has to do with federal candidates. For state candidates, local candidates, states can make their own laws, and there's a circuit court uh, decision confirming that. So we, we think we're on firm ground here, and we think it's going to make our elections better here in Delaware. In addition to that, uh, employer disclosure for certain contributions. Talk to us about what this would mean and why it could be valuable. Sure. Well, it's already required if you're making a contribution to a federal candidate, uh, such as a president, their campaign, you have to identify who your employer is. Uh, many states do this also, but Delaware does not. And the reason is um, it, it can help uncover when you're uh, investigating a problem uh, cases where an employer is paying, a, is really reimbursing many of their employees to make contributions to a candidate they like so that this employer can get 10 times as many dollars to that uh, candidate than what the laws uh, permit. So it's circumventing the, the state laws. And by identifying the employer, it's easier for uh, investigators to see that, and it hopefully is going to uh, be less attractive for an employer to try this game. In addition to that, uh, joint contributions by a couple, you want to look closer into that in terms of who's making what portion of the contribution. Yes, and it, this is a simple issue, but you know, if my wife and I make a, a, ch a contribution from a joint checkbook to a, a particular candidate, the candidate, really, we need to know whether it was for me or for my spouse or if it was 50-50 from us, and that makes sure that we are staying under the, the uh, the maximum contribution limits that the laws have from an individual to a candidate. Just a few seconds left, but other recommendations are related to extending statutes of limitations about coming forward, whistleblower protections, and many other recommendations. And people can uh, visit your website for more information. But is the legislature taking up some of these issues? Well, we, we have an election task force that's been going on for months, and they're doing some good work. And in addition, legislators are trying to find that getting the best parts of the VC recommendations into law. Thanks for being with us. We've been talking with State Representative Paul Baumbach. I'm Jill Horn. Honor.